come from a long line of good credit and a family of beggars, and I'm telling you, Devontae's going down. Stay tuned next Friday on ESPN 12, the World Bagging Championships. In a post-apocalyptic California, an orphan, born to an illegal immigrant in the backseat of a South Central Los Angeles taxi cab, wanted to be more than just a backer. One morning, after waking up in a urine-soaked bed, a young Rico Devante Rodriguez III finally found purpose in life. Mama! 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 mama. Shut the fuck up! Mama. Okay, you need to shut the fuck up! Mama, I found out what I want to do in life! I don't give a fuck what you want to do, you need to shut the fuck up right now! Hey, y'all motherfuckers want some eggs? Ah. Mama, I was watching ESPN 16 and I want to be a professional bagger! Yeah, you want to get a professional ass kicking if you don't shut the fuck up! Oh, man! Rico would not let the discouraging words from the most important person in his life detract him from becoming what he knew he would be. Told you, Mom, I'm done and leaving, all right? I'm tired of you not telling me that I can't be a beggar. Yeah, go ahead and be a beggar and a dead man like a bitch-ass dad. He applied at several grocery stores and was rejected by all. Oh, well, you got a good resume and I like your portfolio, but I... We just decided uh, we just don't like you. Rejection after rejection had him on the verge of quitting until he met the one person who would change his life forever. A word on the street as uh, you are a phenomenal bagger. One that likes of mortal men have never seen. My name, Juan Lee Garcia. You can call me Tuki. This summer, an epic motion picture that will capture the hearts and minds of every living and breathing being upon this planet will be released, thus changing the way movies are written about in the history books. Starring Donald Trump as Tuki. You must beat the bag. Bag on, a bag off. Hillary Clinton as Mama. You can be a garbage man, drug dealer, a burglar, but you won't be a fucking burger. Ohio Media in association with Flohio Films presents Benicio Del Toro is Gangbagger. Yeah, so... <laughs> Shout out to Gino Lexus on that one. Shout out to Young Punk for tuning in. Perez was born and now we got a new fan book, Facebook Illinois. fan profile. Youth was- Hold up. Let me run that back. I am sorry. I hit the button. It happens. In life... You hit buttons that you're not supposed to hit sometimes. This is the fan book. I call it a fan book. (laughs) Facebook fan profile of Veronica Don't Call Me Rosie Perez. Veronica Perez was born and raised in Bensonville, Illinois. Her youth was spent picking flowers and riding her bike through the town. She was a standout finger painter and speller at Bensonville Elementary. After winning Miss Kickball All County two years in a row, she enrolled in the local Fenton High School. As a freshman, Veronica achieved a feat that has never been done before and will never be duplicated it again. She became the first ever freshman in drama class to get the lead role as Annie, which made all the girls really jealous and her mother very proud. Her sophomore, junior, and senior years were also filled with exciting achievements. She is the only three-time Illinois State middleweight chess champion, but her most memorable moment was when she was nearly suspended for fighting another student for calling her Rosie Perez. She did not like to be called Rosie Perez. At the tender age of 17, Veronica broke the Bensonville hot dog eating record by five when she devoured 37 hot dogs and buns. One week later, Veronica was forced to relocate to Chicago after she was discovered using a laser pointer on the airlines, departing and arriving at O'Hare International Airport. She is now trying to achieve her lifetime dream of becoming a master Pokemon trainer. This has been the Facebook fan profile of Veronica. Don't call me Rosie Perez.
Round of applause to Miss Veronica Perez, Miss Donna Minyard. They were they were actually immortalized in Blunt Sessions history by simply going and liking the Blunt Sessions Facebook page. We could come. We might choose you listening right now. You could be the next person who gets a Facebook fan profile complete with NFL films, theme music, awesome announcer voice, and a nickname that will go down in the annals of history. Yeah, so here's some DMX. Ohio Radio presents I must be hard Thoughts from the cage with your host DMX she didn't hear me though. When catching Pokemon make sure to look both ways before crossing the street That's my man you know and you feel when voting, make sure not to vote for Trump or Clinton. That's my man. You know how you feel. When leaving the house, remember these three words. Wallet, keys, and phone. That's my man. You know how you feel. All right, I've tried calling K-Swiss twice so far. I'm checking to see if he's all right. He did say he was going to be coming over. Then he said he wasn't. I don't know if the rain got him. So let's call him right now and see if Mr. K Swiss is sleeping or he's trapped in the monsoon. Let's see where he's at. And if not, I'm about to drop a bunch of you're killing me smalls is in his inbox but he won't be able to hear it because it'll be coming from the show and not from the actual phone. So all he's going to hear is my voice saying, K-Swiss, but you guys out there through the magic of radio. It's me. You know what to do. The mailbox is full and cannot accept any messages I can't even drop any mailbox bombs. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, That's Smalls. what I was going to do. It was going to be that simple. Me, now I can't. Thanks, Swiss. You're killing me, Smalls. Thanks for not listening and emptying out You're killing me, Smalls. your inbox. You're killing me, Smalls. So I can't just bomb it with your killing, killing me, me Smalls. Smalls. Ah, well. Anyways, I was going to call him because he's one of actually the people that are in Chucky Black. Chucky Black is a little series we got going on. It's kind of like... You know, Charlie Brown, in a way. And uh, anybody that we come in and they we interview, we give them the opportunity to play a part on Chucky Black. See, Renee has. And it's going to be in this episode. This is Chucky Black, part two. And this is Blood Sessions, baby. So, Chuck, how do you think you did on the test, man? Man, listen, I, was, I didn't even have a book... I ain't study. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah, it was pretty terrible. I did about as good on that test as you did with Cinnamon Steph last week. Uh, oh, so you passed, huh? Man, man, shut up. Yeah, don't mess with Otis. Oh, man, here comes Jeff again. Oh, Lord, what does he want now? Yo, what's poppin', my jeans? Oh, what's going on, Jeff? Did you finish those tennis lessons, huh? <laughs> Old Pete Sampras ass. Nah, bro, that's the summertime. It's basketball season now. Yo, check it. I'm about to write this track. Y'all check this verse out real quick, know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yo, woke up, drew, late for school, English, missed it, free lunch, ticket, pizza, fries, apple, pies. Uh, uh, Jeff, we got uh, we got this thing that we got to do on yeah, the yeah. other side of the playground by the monkey bars. Yeah. Uh, we got to actually be there at, uh, what, what time is it? Uh, it's like 2.15. We got to be there at like 2.15. So we run it late, but we're gonna next time you see us, you give us those bars. Definitely. And uh, we're going to give you the most honest opinion. Uh, we got to go. Where we got to go? 
I love myself. I love me some me. Yo, what's poppin', little mama? You sounding real good right now, like Patty LaBelle and Gloria Estefan or something. Need a new girl? Oh, you think so? Thank you. I'll just be working on my voice, you know, my <clears throat> vocalizing and stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm new from around. I'm not from around here, rather. You right. I'm from around the way. My name is Oshila. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Oshila. Well, I'm like LL, you know what I mean? I need an around the way girl. So when you got a man, you got a single, what's good? What you mean, what's around the way? You asking me all these questions. Who is you? They call me Lil J, a.k.a. Young Recess. But check it, I heard you sound real good. And I was wanting to see if you want to get on this track, you know what I'm saying? Maybe sing a verse, do a little collab or something. Oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I really do features. It's, well, I tell you what. You just... I have my people call your people. All right, but before you do that, let me let you hear a little bit of these bars real quick so you can see what you're missing out on this platinum status, you know what I mean? Yo, woke up, drool, late for school, English, missed it, free lunch, ticket, pizza, fries, apple, pies. Listen, I gotta go. You gonna make me late for art class. All right, show I you love all myself. I love myself. I love myself. After these messages, we'll be right back. All right, all right, that was fantastic. What an amazing speech. I'd like to thank everybody again for coming out to Motivational Words, brought to you by Flow Ohio Radio and Blunt Sessions. Our next speaker is actually a surprise guest. Needs no introduction. All the way from Miami, Florida, it's Mr. Tony Montana. Okay. Okay, thank you. No, that's okay. Okay. Only a few minutes. I want to say a few things. In order to be a success in this life, you gotta have three things. You gotta have dreams. You gotta have goals. And you gotta have balls. The dreams, or what I call the tiger, is what you want to achieve in life. The goals are the steps you need to take to get your tiger. And the balls, we all know what the balls are. And trust me, I can tell you from experience that if you got dreams, and you got goals, and most importantly, if you have balls, there's gonna be people who don't wanna see you succeed. They don't wanna see you get the money. They don't wanna see you get the power. They wanna sit there, point their finger, and say, that's the bad guy. To try to take your good sister to the toilet, to do jail off her chest. They may even try to handcuff you, and hang you in a bathtub, and try to cut you up, with a chainsaw, but that's where your support system come in handy. You always have a team of people watching your back, a team of people who believe in your dream and help you achieve your goals to get you tighter. Because they know if you are a success, they are a success. Okay, I gotta go, but before I leave, just remember this: have your dreams. Set your goals and use your balls. No matter what happens in your life, do anything you can to get your tiger. Okay, to so take it easy. Thank you guys for coming. To so say goodbye to the bad guy and hello to my little friend. Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Blunt Sessions proudly presents Turning Up the Heat with Brother Latino Heat. Ladies, are you unfulfilled in your bedroom? Fellas, is your woman mad at you because you spend more time on the PlayStation than playing with her? before you do anything drastic.